Shout out to Tuffy's country and lesson. First one gives all honor, all praise, and fear to Yahweh because he's more more such as true. Shout out to this going to be shot old. This is Exodus 25 and Deuteronomy 9 and 5. Them that hate me. Chime in on them that hate me. Alright. Does it do you have to do you people most have a saying, oh them that hate me? Alright, it's going to What's happening, YouTube? Welcome to the Mr. Winslaw channel. I am Mr. Winslaw, your host, and today we're going to be discussing a very hot and controversial topic, which deals primarily with God is evil. We are going to be discussing the Abrahamic God, yes the God of the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran, and we are going to illustrate that this God is not only omnipotent, omnibenevolent, omniscient, and omnipresent, but omni-evil as well. So, without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? If we look at the definition of evil, it is defined as wrongdoing and wickedness. If we want to take a more in-depth look at this definition, we find that three characteristics immediately come to mind. Evil people are characterized by being very ego-driven and vain. They are also characterized as being very lust for death and suffering-driven. And last but not least, they have a serve me and enjoy it or die attitude. That is false. Is also... Also, 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 be, that thing is false. Because also, it can also be the evil people doing it just because they have, just doing evil actions just because they want to. Look, 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 look at a character that they don't really have to do for any of that stuff. They do out, out of just pure sadness, being just pure sadistic, sadism. Look, look up a character called the Batman who laughs origin. These three character traits are traits that the God of the Bible, the Torah, and the Quran has in a huge abundance. Yes, he does. If we look at the first aspect, first which stop. deals with... Let me, let, let me cut this full. Hold on. This is Leviticus 18.30. Leviticus 18.30. Therefore shall ye keep mine ordinance that ye commit not any one of these abominable customs which were committed before you that ye defile not yourselves therein. I'm Yahweh, your God. Most high even want to deal with Israel more than what Israel to corrupt themselves. Being very ego-driven and vain, we see that the first... So, so this full guy just got cut. But that one gives all honor, all praise, and fear to Yahweh, because he's more than true. That's Shalom. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 